very strong quote that you wrote in your book on Chicano Manifesto. Uh, nationalism is an awareness uh, that we are not Caucasian, not Mexican-American, or any label the system puts upon us, but that we are a people with an ancient heritage and an ancient scar on our souls. We are oppressed first because we are Chicanos, because our skin is dark, but we are exploited as workers by a system which feeds like a vulture off the work of our people, only to enrich a few who control uh, this entire country. We suffer a double oppression, we catch a double help by Armando Rindo. And that's one of the things that I try to do is try to compile what people say what it is to be Chicano and how people are putting labels on us, Hispanic, Latinos, and so forth. But what is your perspective on who or what does SB 1070 really target? First of all, the uh, quote, I could have written that yesterday. No. Not very much has changed since then. And that's one of the issues. That's one of the issues, that's one of the reasons that we've been dealing with SB 1070. Okay? One of the stereotypes that the media, that the politicians, that the uh, so-called leadership in this country continues to maintain, focus on, is that Chicanos are an immigrant people. We are not an immigrant people. Okay? Number one. As I mentioned earlier, that border moved across our bodies. Okay, not, not the other way around. The people that are coming here from Mexico especially are our ancestors. There are people, there are Chicanos, pre-Chicanos or proto-Chicanos, whatever you want to call it, but they are Chicano. Okay? My way of thinking, they have as much right to be here as anybody else. It doesn't matter that they're Mexican nationals. Is that getting to your answer? Okay. It doesn't matter. They have as much right to be here as any one of them. I was born in San Antonio. Okay. Maybe most of you were born in San Antonio or, or in Texas. We are citizens. Someone who has need of a job, who has need of an education, has children, they want to raise their children, they want to work hard, they want to study hard. They want to earn what all of us tend to take for granted. Should have as much right to be here as we do. Okay? What SB 1070 does is play on the racism that continuously being you know, perpetuated is being reinforced by the media, the politicians, by you know, the bloggers and what have you. I think, I think, uh, voice came out. The voice came out. You asked the right question. Uh, <coughs> anyone here who thinks less of someone else is going along the lines. And, and, oh, it gets back to, to what I just, just got talking about, of making up your own minds about things, not going along with you know, whatever you hear on uh, you know, the, the, the talk shows or what have you, or what you see in the media. Um, uh, Chicanos, <coughs> Mexicanos, Honduras, Hondureños, group of Honduras, what have you, they're human beings. Right to seek to prove themselves. That's what you're doing here, isn't it? You know? Everybody in here, you wouldn't be here if you didn't think that you deserved a better break, that you deserved uh, to be looked down, not looked down on, but looked up to, to be respected. Huh? Not just because you have a strong back 
Were you willing to work 12 hours a day? Did you have an intellect? That you also can figure things out for yourselves? That's what it's all about, dude. Yeah? Having that kind of respect, having being able to uh, seek a better life, being able to uh, bring up children here with the same opportunities as anybody else. That's what the whole civil rights movement was about. The Chicago movement was about. The women's movement, the gay movement, all of these movements are people <laughs> like I say, uh, unfortunately, not much has changed. Uh, the stereotype continues of our people and the Chicanos to be wetbacks, you know, having just crossed the river. And most of us know that a lot of places that for indigenous human rights, we are human beings that have had our rights violated for over 500 years and it's still going on. We want to enter it. We're all human beings. No one is illegal. Thank you.